to have three objectives. The first one, uh, we are going to form sentences using the past perfect tense. The second one, uh, we are going to, uh, to be able to differentiate between the first and the second conditionals. And the third one, we are going to compare between active and passive voices in the... In the... To the first objective, which is the... Now let's move to the first objective, which is the past perfect. ركزوا معي الحين احنا قلنا في ال past simple ال past simple we use it when we have a specific time in the past like I went to مسقط yesterday yesterday is a thing started in the past I have to say uh, like this I have visited مسقط what about the past perfect ها huh? the past perfect يلا يا أطفال يا حلوين يلا we use the past perfect for actions that happened before another action in the past at a specific time. We have two actions. For example, we have two actions. One of them, okay, يعني هنا we have number one and number two. When number two happened in the past, both of them are in the past or were in the past, okay? When number two happened, Number one has already happened and finished or had an effect up till uh, the happening of or the occurrence of number two. Now we have this is the past and now which is the present then the future. Okay, we have two actions. This is the first one. Uh, I mean the second one. Sorry. Okay, this is the second one and it's in the past. Number two. Okay, before the happening of this one, we had an action. Let's say that we have this action, number two, we have it uh, yesterday at 10 o'clock a.m. Before this time, we had the first action, and we don't know the exact time of this action, which is number uh, number one. Again, we have two actions. Uh, the first one happened before the, the other one, and we know that the time of the second one, but we don't know the time of the first one. Okay, inshallah, we are going to have some examples to make everything clear, okay? But keep in your mind that we have two actions. Okay, yalla. Now, how to form... Uh, sentences using the past perfect. If we want to, for, uh, to, uh, to form uh, an affirmative sentence using the past perfect, we have to do like this. Or we have to say like this. Yalla, خلونا نغير القلم. He or I or any, any uh, subject, he had, he had finished the project before his father arrived. Now, Look at this sentence, okay? طبعاً, we have two actions here. The first action, he had uh, finished the, the, the project. This is the first action, okay? Or action number one, الحدث الأول. Okay, before his father arrived, this is the second action. We know that his father arrived at a specific time in the past, but... Before the arrival of his father, he had done his work or he had finished his uh, project. So we don't know the, the, the exact time of the first uh, activity. So how to form, how can we form a sentence using the past perfect? We have to do like this one. We have to mention the subject first. Okay, the subject, the fa'al. And after the subject, this is the subject. After the subject, the word had. Had في المضارع إيش قلنا in the present ها؟ من يذكرنا؟ يلا يا عبد العزيز عبد العزيز يلا يا زيزو. Have and has. Thank you very much. Clap for him. Thank you very much, عبد العزيز. Okay. So we have this word which is had. And دائما خلوا معكم في بالكم شيء. After had, has. And uh, ha, uh, have. دائما يكون معنا the past participle of the verb if it's a verb طبعا. 
after have, has, and had, we have to put the past participle of the verb. Okay? Now, in order to form a sentence using the past perfect, we have to start, to start with the subject, then the word had with all subjects. After the word had, we must have the past participle of the verb. How can we change this sentence from affirmative into a negative one? We just add one word. What is this word, ya Samia? Yalla ya Samia. What's this word? Huh? Excellent, Samia. Thank you very much. The word is not. The word is not. Okay? Uh, he had not. He had not. So we have here had and the, here the past participle of the verb. He had not finished the project before his father arrived. I think that one is clear. طيب. Yalla, now, how can we form uh, a sentence or how can we change this uh, sentence uh, into a, a yes, no question? Sorry. How can we change this sentence okay, into a yes, no question? It's very easy. Yalla, shabab. Yalla, jamian. Yalla, yalla. Huh? معنى خلف الشاشات معنى يلا يا آدم آدم ها نفس اللي سويناه في ال present perfect لكن نغير بدل have و has there is another word ها آه آدم ممتاز أحسنت okay we have to put the word had here at the beginning so we have to say had and the first letter طبعا has to be capital had he then طبعاً this is the subject الفاعل subject okay and after the subject we have the past participle of the verb then at the end of the question إيش نسوي يا طبعاً معنا آدم يلا نروح لحواء يلا حواء after uh, or at the end of the question what do we put an exclamation mark حواء الله يرضى عليه إيش ويهديش ها Yes, it's a question mark. This one is called a question mark, while this one is called a full stop or a period. Okay, a full stop, a stop or a period. Okay, so at the end of the question, we must put a question mark. Again, with yes, no questions, we have to start with the word had, then the subject, after the subject, the past participle of the verb. Yalla, now let's change this one into a WH question. Yeah, WH Question with Bel Arab. It's Magjamilia Bel Arab. Yalla Bel Arab. Okay. WH questions. Okay. Thank you, Bel Arab. So we have to start with the WH word. Like in this example, we have the word when. WH. Warfin. What, when, where, etc. Okay. Then. Nafsil Sawena fi. Yes, no question. The same thing. Had he finished. Look at this one. Had he finished the project? Had he finished the project, okay? But we have to add the WH question according to the question itself. Is that clear? Montazin. Okay, now uh, let's have more examples to, again, to make everything clear. Yalla, examples. They, okay, let's change the color. Yalla, ya. Hala, hala. Okay, hala. They hadn't, okay? They is the subject, fa'al, okay? And with subjects, I'll put only S, okay? They hadn't, after hadn't is the past participle of the verb, okay? Which is eaten. They hadn't eaten their lunch until their mother came home. So we have how many actions, Hala, here? How many actions do we have here? Okay, we have two actions. Thank you, Hala. We have the first action, which is they hadn't eaten their lunch. And the second action, okay, their mother came home. طيب. So the first one happened before the second one. Thank you. Okay, yalla, ya Asma. Asma. Okay. Uh, the second one. Uh -huh. Okay, by the time the bell rang, by the time the bell rang, طبعاً, if we start like this, by the time, by the time, okay, we have to put a comma here. It's because it's a close and it's uh, not, uh, okay, it, it cannot stand as a sentence by itself. Okay, by the time the bell rang, this is the second action. Huh? The second action. 
the students had already submitted their answers. Here, look at this word. We have used the word already. And if you remember, we have already studied about already and yet. We said that already is used when the sentence is positive and yet is used with questions and when the sentence is uh, negative. So, if we, I, I want to add uh, uh, yet here, I have to change the sentence into uh, the negative one. Again, by the time the bell rang, the students had already submitted their answers. MashaAllah, Tullab Aman, Killahum, MashaAllah, Mtazin. Okay? Uh, they had uh, submitted their answers before the, uh, the bell rang, or by the time the bell rang, they had already submitted their answers. Thank you. Now, uh, Yalla, I want uh, Mazen. Okay, Yalla, ya Mazen. Mazen, when I called my sister, she had already slept. This is another clause. That's why I have to put a comma here. When I called my sister at a specific time in the past, she had already slept. Inshallah Okay? When I called my sister, this is the second action. My sister had already slept, or she had already slept. And the fourth example will go to Buraq. Yalla ya Buraq. Okay? Umar returned home because he had forgotten his book. Ah. I can't start by saying because he had forgotten his book, then a coma. Because uh, Umar returned home. Again, because he had forgotten his book, a comma, Umar returned home. Okay? But here, I can uh, put it like this. Umar returned home at a specific time in the past because he had forgotten his book. This is the past participle. Uh, I mean, uh, the past uh, perfect. Had forgotten. Is that clear? Huh? يلا يا استاذ وائل استاذ وائل الامور طيبه يقول لكم الامور طيبه اوكي ناو ليتس هاف سم اذر اكزامبلز اند يو ويل انسر ذيس اكزامبلز وذ مي اوكي ذا فيرست اكزامبل يلا يا امجد يو ويل دو يور يور اكزامبل هير امجد داش ليف ان نزوه فور 10 ييرز بيفور هي دوتس تو صحار اور داش اوكي امجد اها هاد هاد ايش هاد ليف امجد هاد ليف no, we have to put the past participle of the, of the verb. Had lived, excellent. Had lived, okay. Had lived in Nezwa for 10 years before he, he moved. Because this one is in the past simple. Thank you, Ya Amjad. Yalla, Hassan, Barakallah Feek. Yalla, now uh, we will have Muzna. Muzna, Yalla. Asqina, Ayatuha Al-Muzna. Okay, Mazun. Mazun and Muzna, Mitchabhat. Mazun dots uh, Arabic until she dots uh, to Oman. Thank you. Mazun hadn't or had not hadn't ish spoken. Why did you say spoken, not speak? Because the word speak, huh? the word speak is irregular or the verb speak is irregular. That's why we don't add ed to it. Uh, sorry, uh -huh, okay. Uh, hadn't spoken Arabic until she went to Oman. Thank you. Okay, now the third example. Okay, yeah. Stad Musa, Allah, Stad Musa. The third one. Allah, read it. Okay, came. By the time Qaisar came, we. Had Allah hidi Qaisar jai mitakhar. We had started playing. Thank you. By the time Qaisar came home, we had started playing. <laughs> clap, clap for Stada Fawziya, mashallah, Ali Habqariya. Thank you very much, Stada Fawziya. By the time Qaisar came, we had started playing. Thank you very much. So I think the past perfect is. Uh, easy and it's very clear. Now let's move to something else. Yalla, do some exercises in 10 seconds. Yalla, yalla. Okay. Yalla. 
Now, let's have, this is the, the summary of the past perfect tense. You can take a photo of it, or you can refer to the uh, lesson again. Okay, now, let's have this question. Yes, yalla. أول إجابة طبعاً راح تجينا من مخرجنا. What would you do if you had a lot of money? Huh? What would you do if you had a lot of money? Huh? He is saying that he would start his own business. He would start his own business. Again, what would you do if you had a lot of money? I would start my own business. Thank you very much. Now, what about uh, Asila? Yalla, Asila, ya Asila. Asila, what would you do if you had a lot of money? Mm -hmm. uh, I would travel around the world. MashaAllah Alish. MashaAllah Alish. She would travel around the world. Okay? She would, she would travel around the world. Okay. Now, what about Zahra? Yalla, Zahra. What would you do if you had a lot of money? Mm -hmm. Yalla, Asf Dhani. Brainstorming. Yes, Ahsanti Zahra, I would build a mosque, MashaAllah. Allah yitqabbal minna wa minna sharab. Zahra is saying that she would build a mosque if she had a lot of money. She would uh, build a mosque if she had a lot of money. Now, let's have uh, three more students. Uh, yes, uh, Sultan, Yalla ya Sultan. Sultan would donate an amount of it, Kareem. He is very generous, okay? He would donate an amount of it. Okay, what about Bayan? Yalla ya Bayan. Bayan. Okay? She... La, had mama al Bayan. Sorry. <laughs> Tayyib. Uh, this answer is given by Stadwail. Okay? He would get married. Inshallah, Allah rizqak zawja salha. Okay? He would get married. Thank you very much. And what about Bayan? Bayan would buy some books. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, she would buy some books. Tayyib. Or Bayan would buy some books. Now, in this question, we have this word, would. Okay. Uh, we have this word, would. And we have, okay, do as the verb. What do we call this one? After that, we have also had. What do we call this thing? تَرَقَّبُوا بَعْدَ قَلِيلٍ وَسَنَعْرَفُ طبعاً ما شيء فاصل لكن هنا. Okay. يلا. We call these things conditionals. Conditionals. We have four types of conditionals in English. We are going to start, or I mean to focus on two of them. We have, huh? Ya Stadwail, alasham ma tazgal bin zawjik mar thani, ma mushkila. Okay, yalla Stadwail, zero conditional. Okay, this is the first one. We have first conditional. We have second conditional and third conditional. Taban, today inshallah we're going to have first and or the first and the second conditionals. What do we mean by conditionals? These conditionals. If, if something happens, uh, this th another thing will happen or if something had happened another thing would happen مثل ما شفنا قبل شوية okay إذن الجمل الشرطية okay these are جمل شرطية now how can we make conditionals in English خليكم معي and إن شاء الله we will sail on the same boat okay يلا the first one is the first conditional مثل ما قلنا we are going to focus on the first and the second conditional uh, conditionals only the first conditional uh, okay we use it uh, to talk about what we think will happen in the future ركزوا معي we use the first conditional to talk about what we think will happen in the future not in the past okay so we have something that might happen in the future okay طبعاً بناخذ uh, some examples. Okay, now how to form a sentence using the first conditional? We form the first conditional with two clauses. The first one is the if clause, and the second one is the main clause. And we can start with the main clause. It's okay. We make the first conditional with if plus the present simple plus will. إيش يعني بهذا الكلام? You will. Have some examples in order to uh, 
uh, understand this thing. If plus the present simple plus will. Note, we put a comma if we start with the if clause. As I said, we have two clauses here, one and two. If we start with the if clause, like if it rains tomorrow, okay, a comma, if it rains tomorrow, a comma, I will not go to, uh, for example, to the beach, okay? Uh, because we have here started with the if clause, that's why we have put uh, a comma. طيب, now let's have these examples in order to understand the first conditional. If you study hard, this is if clause, so we have if, then the subject, you, after that we have the present, ish, present simple. خلونا نرجع شوية, okay? Look at this one. We form the first condition, uh, we make the first conditional with if plus the present simple plus will. Zain. Look at this sentence again. Okay. If then study, this is the present simple. Present. Okay. Present. Simple. And after that, if you study hard, there is a comma leash because we have started with. Uh, if clause, you will, this is the, res uh, the result, you will, هنقلنا will, and after will, diamond, we have the, uh, the verb, okay, or we have a verb. If you study hard, okay, this is if clause, the first clause, a comma, you will pass the exam. So this is a conditional sentence, it's in the first conditional. If you study hard, why is it in the uh, uh, first conditional? Because it's about something which might happen in the future or which we think that will happen in the future. If you study hard, you will pass the exam. Now look at the second example. Imad will not wake up early if he sleeps late. Why, why uh, didn't we put a, co uh, a comma here? Because we have started with the main clause, not with the if clause. A month ago, we talked about uh, the main clause and the other clauses. Okay? Imad will not wake up early. Will not. Uh -huh. This is the negative form uh, of, the, uh, of the word will. Will not wake up early if he, if, طبعاً, he sleeps. Present, again, present. Simple, present, simple. Again, we can say, if Imad sleeps late, he will not wake up early. I think that one is clear. طيب. Now, the third one, ya hiba. Yalla ya hiba. If we don't have money, if we don't have money, comma, if here, we won't buy a new car. Won't is the shortened form of will will not okay want is the shortened form of will not so here imad won't wake up or imad will not wake up so thank you Hiba. if we don't have money we want or we will not buy a new car طيب. then this the, the last one muna will win the competition if she answers the questions correctly so this one is in the future, not in the past. طيب. Now let's move to the second conditional to see the difference uh, between uh, the first conditional and the second conditional. Yalla. And it's the same here. We use the second conditional to express unreal or imaginary. يعني it's not real. ما حقيقي. Unreal situations uh, and what could happen طبعا when in the past. Huh? In the past. Okay, now how can we form a sentence using the second conditional? We form the second conditional, uh, conditional again with two clauses, if clause and the main clause. Nafs al first conditional. We make the second conditional with if, here we don't have the past, or I mean the present uh, simple. We have the past simple. And then instead of saying will, we have would. Lahdin al-farq. In the first conditional, if plus the present simple plus will. In the second conditional, we have if 
plus the past simple plus the word would. Again, we put a comma if we start with uh, the if clause. Yalla. Look at these examples. If you studied hard, studied is in the past ish, in the past simple, studied. If, it's, if we are talking about the future, we have to put the uh, uh, present simple. If you studied hard, comma, you would, not you will, you would pass the exam. طبعا هل هو نجح؟ لا طبعا ليش؟ لانه ما ما ذكر زين. So احنا كاننا جالسين نلومه. If you studied hard, you would pass the exam. Okay? If you had one million reals, you would uh, buy for example uh, a new house. Okay? The, th the second example يا هلال يلا يا هلال. Yes? Imad would not wake up early if he slept late. Thank you, Imad. Uh, thank you, Hilal. I mean, Imad would not wake up early if he slept late. So, with if, we have again the past simple. In the result, we have ish, would. We have would, not will, in the second conditional, because this one is not real. Okay, the third one. If, he, if we had money, we would buy a new car. If we had money in the past, have we uh, bought a new car? No, because we didn't have uh, money. So if we had money, we would buy a new car. Diamond, أيضاً, بعد would, will, الفعل ما نضيف له أي شيء. We don't add anything to the verb. لا يجي واحد يتفلسف يقول we would buying ولا we would bought. No. We would buy. خلوها مثل ما هي صغيرة. صغيرة حلوة كذا يعني. Buy. Okay. I would go. I would uh, sleep. Okay. Don't say I would sleep or I would uh, sleeping. No. This is not correct. If we had money, we would buy a new car. And the last one, Arim. Yalla ya Arim. Ya Sheikh Al Harim. Yalla. Muna would win the competition if she answered the question. Uh, the questions. Correctly, okay. Muna, thank you, ya Reem. Would, would win the competition if she answered the questions cor correctly. Had Muna uh, won the competition? No, she hadn't. Okay. Yalla. Now, with the verb to be, note, there is a note here. With the verb to be here, there are two forms that can be used with I, he, she, and it. قبل ما نتكلم عن هذا. In the past simple, with I, we, uh, I, he, she, and it, we always say, uh, use the, ver the, the verb to be was. Like, I was a student, uh, for example, in grade six or in grade eight, let's say last year. He was in Masqat. She was a doctor. It was uh, sleeping. Now, what about the the verbs to be in the second conditional with I, he, she, and it. طبعاً, we can use both was and where. For example, in these two sentences, if I dash you, uh, I'd get high marks. We can say if I was and if I were. لكن اللي أكثر استعمالاً if I were. Okay? So if if you uh, use 